Okay, really important question. Do you know what today is? Today is a very special day. On July 4th, in 1054, Chinese astronomers found, or rather, they saw and recorded a giant supernova in the sky, which lasted for like two years after that. And the supernova is pretty much the most well-known supernova ever, because apparently it's really rare that any supernova is recorded on the day that it explodes and happens and you see it from Earth. And also because of the fact that it gave birth to what is today known as the Crab Nebula, which looks pretty cool to begin with, but also has a pulsar right in the middle of it. That's cool. And also, there's this guy, this French guy named Charles Messier. He really loved comets, right? So when he was looking for Halley's Comet one time, he thought that the Crab Nebula was Halley's Comet and he got really confused. So then after that, he was like, I'm not having any more of this. I'm just gonna record everything that looks vaguely like a comet to me. And of course, since that thing with Halley's Comet happened, the first Messier object, M1, is the Crab Nebula. Today is also the anniversary of the death of not one, not two, but three of the founding fathers of these really large United States of America. So everyone probably already knows by now that story about Thomas Jefferson and John Adams and their really cute friendship that started out sort of actually being kind of, they kind of hated each other, but then they stopped and then they were like lifelong friends. And then on July 4th, 1826, John Adams' last words were reported as, Thomas Jefferson still lives. Except that Thomas Jefferson had kind of died a few hours ago, so. But, 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 but wait, the third guy, James Monroe, he died five years later and his last words were also really cute. I regret that I should leave this world without again beholding him. Referring to, of course, his best friend, James Madison. Oh my gosh, these founding fathers, they're all this like tight-knit group of friends or something. That's so adorable. So July 4th is also really important when you're talking about Alice in Wonderland. It's both the day when Lewis Carroll started telling the Alice in Wonderland stories and the publication date of the first Alice in Wonderland book. What? That's cool. This book is really dusty, why? In case you're wondering, it's it's just a really old one from like the 1920s and not anything valuable. <laughs> and today also commemorates the death of Marie Curie in 1934 from radiation poisoning that stemmed from her awesome sauce research that got her a Nobel Prize, yo. <laughs> She was cool, and basically her research sort of prevented everyone else from also getting worse radiation poisoning than she did. So, great woman. Sorry for the sacrifice. She died on this day, almost 100 years ago. Yeah. And on a more somber note, when it comes to holidays, today is Liberation Day in Rwanda, commemorating the civil war and genocide, which ended in 1994. That was really recent. It's one of two Rwandan national holidays, which commemorates this whole giant thing. And that's pretty important. We don't want this stuff getting overshadowed by celebrating colors and fireworks, and scaring people's pets. So one last thing. In 2012, two teams confirmed their independent findings that the Higgs boson is real. And that was at the Large Hadron Collider in CERN. And I'm talking about this one because it's the only one of these that I actually can remember happening while I was alive, because it's the only one of these that happened while I was alive. That would make a lot of sense, actually. But I just remember everyone being really happy about it, even lots of people who had no idea what the Higgs boson was. And of course, it's like particle physics, so it's not as if most people can understand it completely at all. Actually, I take that back. It's not as if anyone can really understand it completely, except possibly the scientists who found it and the people who like theorized its existence in the first place. Uh, I'm getting off track here though. Yeah, so it was just there was so much buzz for so long and it was really cool and it's been three years since that happened. What? That's so fast. And now one last thing about myself. 
You might have noticed that I look really pink today. That's because earlier today, t today, the day that I'm filming this, the day before today, the 3rd of July, I went uh, on this bike ride on the coast and um, my hands, I don't know if you can see them, but I had this jacket on up to around here and this part of my hand is a lot darker than this part of my hand now. But the biking part was actually pretty fun. So I decided to make this video for today because it was sort of a coincidence like, oh wait, this Saturday is the 4th of July and I promised I would make videos on Saturdays, so might as well make a video about the 4th of July. Except not really what people really expect all the time because Americans are so like, Independent Day, oh my gosh, lots of color, white, red, blue, red, ah, fireworks, everything is just that, woohoo. And I think it's pretty cool that we can also remember and think about other things that also occurred on the same day and are occurring still on the same day. And all of these things are actually just bits of stuff that I kind of knew but sort of forgot until I got reminded by skimming the Wikipedia article for the date July 4th. So I hope I helped at least someone with their cultural knowledge of other things in the world that are not America. Especially if that someone is happens to be American. I don't know what I'm doing right now, but I think I will stop now. So I hope you enjoy Independence Day if you are American and I hope you just have a plain old good old normal nice cool Saturday if you do not live in America. Okay, I'm going to go take a shower now and be sad about this situation here. Goodbye. Today is Liberation Day in Rwanda. Today is Liberation Day in Rwanda. But three! Today is also the anniversary of the deaths of not one, not two, but three of United States founding fathers. Today is also the anniversary of the death of not one, not two, but three of the founding fathers of the, these really... The first Messier object, M1, is the Krebnet is the crab nap blah blah blah.